my humble opinion, the NBA leadership are a bunch of whores, in my opinion. I'm in a little cranky, sassy mood today. Hopefully that will make it a little more entertaining of a show. This is How to Build a Tent. My name is Matt Williams. Thank you for listening to the show. We are part of the Fight Laugh Feast Network. Go over to fightlaughfeast.com, put in HGBT in the memo field, and you will get a 15-ounce mug. You will get tons of great content, but most of all, you become alongside of us to proclaim the Lordship of Jesus in every area of life. Don't forget about Reform Jellical coming every Wednesday night. AD and I are going to be talking about a ton of things like current issues, philosophy, theology, the differences between Reformed theology and evangelical theology and our different perspectives. It's going to be a great time to introduce and discuss and to develop ideas from both of our perspectives. I just love it. The only thing that's hard about it is that it's once a week and I have all these things that I want to talk about, all these things that are like just bubbling up inside me and I have to wait. I'm not used to that with this daily show. And then don't forget also we have our book club, Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. That's coming up on October 29th. We're going to be doing a new book every Tuesday. And make sure you join us for both of those live, in person, real time. You can talk, text, chat, all that good stuff with us. Not text. I keep saying text. I meant chat. You can chat with us. And we might have some polls and we might have some great content or whatever. And all that good stuff. Reform Jellical, as we're doing the beta testing for that, you can get in and see the shows exclusively right now because we're not putting them out on a thread just yet. So if you want to see the shows and see them fairly close to when we record them or in person while we're recording them, then go over, check us out. The links are below. What else? What else? Oh, I'm also going to start live streaming the show and I'm going to be switching it up, but I do that on Crowdcast. So if you want to check out Crowdcast and you want to participate in the show, or just see me do it, watch it live. So I'm going to be going back to video, putting up the video on YouTube and see how that goes. All right. So I am sure you've heard this if you haven't already. The Houston Rockets GM had, let me get my phone while I'm talking about this. He gave out a tweet basically supporting supporting the Hong Kong protesters. Daryl Morey set off an international crisis, the CNBC says, with, a China, with China for National Basketball Association. Morey apologized on Twitter over a now-deleted tweet that spoke in support of Hong Kong protesters. How dare he? How dare Mr. Morey support people that are protesting their freedom, that want China to keep their word and to keep Hong Kong autonomous and under a separate government? How dare he support freedom? How dare he support any kind of moral high ground whatsoever? There is no room for that in the NBA today. It goes on, Maury's apology underscores the challenges American companies face when they want to do business in China's massive economy, but can't run the risk of saying anything that will upset the country's autocratic government, or as I like to call it, what it is, a communist government. A socialist communist government that's murdered 45 million Chinese people. To give you context to that, the World War II in total killed 55 million people. China's 10 million short of a world war killing their own. And that's not including abortion. That's not including the one child policy. It's a murderous regime. It's evil. It needs to be fought against. But we have the NBA, in my opinion, whoring themselves out for money. I don't know what else to call it. You're trading your principles. You're trading your values. Forget of Christian values. Forget of any kind of religious values, simply of American values. If there isn't a value of freedom that America is supposed to represent and the citizens and the companies and everyone involved in it, if that is not the one value that we can all agree on, what are we doing here? Like, who are we? And they're whores because they're, they're selling out any pretext of values or principles that they have because they don't want to lose the billions of dollars that they get from the murderous regime, the murderous communist Chinese regime. And you're going to sell out. You're going to turn your back on 
not only the Hong Kong people and what they're fighting for, but what we stand for in America. This is nothing new. This isn't just the NBA, but a major other companies have been whoring out too. They've been exchanging their future. They've been exchanging their competitive advantages through innovation, through product development, through their R&D in exchange for the market. It's amazing to me how executives at the highest levels of the biggest companies, you would think they would be the smart ones. They're exchanging near-term success, that is being able to expand into China. They're able to grow revenues by marching or marketing and getting out to a billion new people in exchange for the future of their companies. Because what's happening is they are giving up their intellectual property. They're giving up their advantages in the long term to companies that are going to copy it in China. They're going to copy it and they're going to sell it for a much cheaper because they don't have to pay for research and development. They're selling not only American people out, they're selling out values and morals that America is supposed to represent, but they're also selling out their companies in the long run as well. You cannot compete against a company or a country because really let's be honest anyone who's successful in china is because they're in the good graces of the murderous communist regime you cannot compete against companies that don't have to do research and development because that is substantial just think about it you spend millions and millions billions in some cases to develop a product. And where does that money come from? Well, it's baked into the price of a product they're selling to the consumer. You're paying for that research and development within the product cost. So if a company comes by and takes your product without having to bake those costs into their price, well, it's gonna be much more competitive than yours is. Your, those prices are gonna be much cheaper. And in the long run, you aren't gonna be able to make a profit. So you're gonna go out of business because these other companies are being able to make the same product as you without having to have the cost baked in. It's a losing strategy and it not only hurts them, the companies, it hurts our country. There's been technology trade secrets that have been stolen that are a national security importance. And there's just overall the morality of it. Like these things are weighty and it's, it's not a surprise, I guess. I mean, why and who are we when we have given away our moral high ground, that is our foundation on the Bible, we have murdered millions of our own babies, and we have rejected any sense of morality whatsoever. So it really shouldn't be a surprise, I guess, but it still is disappointing to me. And I, for one, am just not gonna support it anymore. I'm not gonna support the NBA. I'm not gonna watch their games. I'm not gonna buy their merchandise. And I'm speaking out and hoping you will do the same because we need to start drawing the line. We need to start being feisty. We need to start fighting back. And we need to start telling these companies that you need to stop. You need to start growing a backbone. You need to stop making people that are supporting freedom delete their tweets. I mean, we're if, if it's not clear in this country that we're fighting for freedom, not just for other people, but ourselves, I don't know what more needs to happen for us to realize that we need to get into this fight. We need to repent. We need to turn to Jesus and we need to preach the gospel because our freedoms are slipping farther and farther away. We're losing all the prosperity that we have because we've based our systems, we've based our economic policies, our governmental policies on Christian principles, we're losing them because we're no longer doing that. I, and I just want to close with this. A lot of times we think of God's judgment and we think of bad things happening to us because we've sinned as some kind of supernatural event that there's going to be like a hurricane that comes. There's going to be like a tornado or some earthquake and there's going to be some apocalyptic event that is supernatural. And that is when we are going to see God's judgment. And a lot of evangelicals think that way. I know for sure. But I'm going to say that in more often than not, God's judgment just comes through how he's created life. When we reject the principles that make us free, that is the Bible, when we reject his law, we start doing foolish things like this, where we start bowing down to murderous dictators like the NBA hoard themselves out for the prophets, in my opinion. And this brings about judgment on ourselves. It doesn't, it's not going to come in supernatural forms all the time, but it's going to come in the simple consequences of our actions. When we reject God, when we were murder millions of babies since Roe versus Wade, 
When we are not going to call truth, truth anymore, when we start doing stupid things like supporting regimes that are murdering millions and millions of people and stealing our technology, stealing our wealth, and we have no problem with it because we make a cheap buck. That's what whores do. I don't want to be a whore. Do you? I don't want to support whores. Do you? This makes me sick. This makes me sick. This is why we need Christians and be successful. This is why we need Christians in authoritative positions. This is why we need Christian leadership. Because our country is bringing judgment on itself. So let's start building strategically. Let's build our finances. Let's build our businesses. Let's build our careers because we desperately need godly men and women. We need godly wisdom. We need God. Lord Jesus, come. Let's go out, be successful for so many reasons. And we'll talk to you tomorrow.